What's going on guys, it's Cameron, and today we're doing a super winch how-to video. So in front of me, I have our SX Series 10K winch, and today we're gonna be clocking the gearbox. So this is gonna work for the 10K and the 12K series of winches. All right, so to get into clocking the gearbox, you're gonna to wanna to go to page seven on your installation sheet, and that's gonna give you all the instructions you need to get this done. So let's go ahead and take our Allen wrenches, and we will turn the winch on its motor side, and remove these two bolts on the tie bar to get this gearbox out. All right, so the first step we gotta do is disengage the clutch handle, the free spool. So that's gonna take a turn like that. Now go ahead and take your six millimeter Allen wrench and remove these bolts holding on the tie bar. And now we can go ahead and lift the gearbox off. With the gearbox off the winch, there's eight Allen bolts in here that you're gonna to have to remove uh, using a three millimeter uh, Allen wrench. So once we get these bolts removed, then we can go ahead and rotate the gearbox. And here's a better shot of the eight bolts you're gonna to have to remove before we go ahead and clock the gearbox. And don't forget these lock washers that are down there too, because those are gonna to have to be reinstalled as well. All right, so now that we have all eight bolts removed from the gearbox, we can now go ahead and clock it. So there are three different configurations that you can go with. You can go with straight up and down, which is the stock location. You can clock it all the way forward, or it can be clocked all the way to the rear. So go ahead and figure out which location is best for you, and then go ahead and reinstall the eight bolts. All right, so for our application here, we've actually clocked the clutch handle to the forward position. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the bolts. All right, so with all eight bolts tightened and torqued down, go ahead and refer to your install sheet for the exact torque specifications of those bolts and how they need to be tightened because they do need to be done in a star pattern. So now that we're done with all that, we can get the gearbox back on the winch. We're gonna have to go ahead and line it up with this bar. And once it gets lined up, it should fall right into place. There it is. And now we can go ahead and reinstall the hardware for the tie bar. And again, with these tie bar bolts, just like the other step, go ahead and refer to your install sheet for the torque specs on these. All right, so now that we've gotten the final fasteners torqued down, you can see we've gotten the gearbox clocked to the front and everything's now done. So thanks for sticking around for this Super Winch how-to video. For more information about this winch or any other winch Super Winch carries, go ahead and visit superwinch.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.